Prayer for the month of October. October is the 10th month of the year. And 10 is special and significant in many respects. Scripturally, 10 is significant for empowerment. In the book of the Acts of Apostles, the Holy Ghost came on the disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ on the 10th day after his ascension. And they were baptized, that is empowered with the Holy Ghost as the Lord promised them before his ascension. Thus making the number 10 significant, in the fulfillment of promises and employment. The Acts of Apostles chapter 2 from verses 1 to 4. The Bible says, And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. Verse 2. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. Verse 3. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire, and it sat upon each of them. Verse 4. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and began to speak with other tongues, as the Spirit gave them utterance. The day of Pentecost was exactly ten days from the day of Christ's ascension into heaven. The children of Israel were liberated from their slavery on the tenth day according to Exodus chapter 12 from verses 3 through 14. Thus making ten, a number significant for liberation, freedom and divine intervention. It was also on the tenth day that the waters with which God destroyed the earth of Noah rescinded, till the mountains were seen. Thus signifying a day of restoration and return to normalcy. The tenth month, which is the month of October is also significant for favor. As we saw in the book of Esther chapter 2, from verses 16 to 17 where the Bible says, So Esther was taken unto King Ahasuerus into his house royal in the tenth month, which is the month Tebeth, in the seventh year of his reign. Verse 17. And the king loved Esther above all the women, and she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins, so that he set the royal crown upon her head, and made her queen instead of Vashti. So the number 10 is replete with divinity and divine interventions from God. This month of October, shall be a month that your life will be filled with abundant blessings. Can I hear you say louder Amen? Let us pray. Pray along with me as I pray. But before then, are you new here, please don't forget to subscribe to our prayer channel. Subscription link in the description box. God bless you. Alright, now. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, here comes another tenth. And as you have been doing on the tenth. Like you did for Esther on the tenth month. The Israelites on the tenth day. Noah on the tenth day. The early apostles on the tenth day. Father Lord, you are the same, yesterday, today and forever. What you say to one you say to all. Dearest Father, here comes yet another tenth month, the month of October. Let this tenth month be my own turn for your divine visitation and intervention. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let this tenth month of October which is the tenth month be so significant and memorable in my life. O oh, Father Lord, divinely intervenes in all the matters that I have been seeking your divine help concerning them. Just as you did to the Israelites. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, let this month bring me divine and uncommon favor, fortune and transformation as you did for Esther. Let this month bring me a fresh anointing and divine empowerment like you did for the apostles according to Acts chapter 2 O Lord. Dearest Father, let all your goodly ordination with the number 10 or 10th month, happen to me this month. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let this month bear me, my family my household and my well-wishers the fruit of all around turnaround blessings. In the name of Jesus Christ, let whatever that must be in place to make my life beautiful, excellent and glorious be released unto me this month, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Now let me pray for you. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for the gift of the new month, the tenth month of the year, and from your word and prophecies, a month significant for many divine accomplishments. The month with the tenth is a number significant in many ways. Therefore dearest Heavenly Father, let this tenth month be the turn of all my listeners to shine. In the name of Jesus Christ. For from the scripture, Genesis chapter 8 verse 5. I understand that the waters the then world was destroyed with decreased continually until the tenth month. For the Bible says that. 
The waters continued to recede until the tenth month, and on the first day of the tenth month the tops of the mountains became visible. Therefore dear Father Lord, in the name of Jesus. In the same vein or order, let everything that has covered or eclipsed the destinies of my listeners from manifestations rescind and totally give way now. In the name of Jesus Christ. As the tops of the mountains were seen on the tenth month O Lord. Let the glory of my every listener be seen this month. In the name of Jesus. Let every good gift that you have deposited into the life of every listener emerge and become prominent with evidence to show that they have been truly blessed by you O Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Dearest Lord, as Esther enjoyed a strange kind of favor in the sight of King Ahasuerus that made her become the queen in the tenth month. According to Esther chapter 2 verse 17. Let my every listener this month be transported from their current status and position to another position of higher honors and glory through uncommon favor. In the name of Jesus Christ. Set every listener under any form of siege and degradable position free and take them to the positions of honor, dignity and respect. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Dearest Heavenly Father, as you delivered and set free the Israelites from the bondage of the Egyptians on the tenth day. Lord, you can still do the same to my listeners who the devil may be held captive with sin, delays, barrenness, impotency, retrogression, stagnation, servitude and slavery. In the name of Jesus Christ. As you delivered and set free the Israelites from the bondage of the Egyptians. I pray you dear Lord, to deliver also every one of my listeners this hour. From every unwanted situation. From every undesirable state. In the name of Jesus Christ. For in your word, what you say to one you equally say to all. Therefore dear Lord, by delivering the Israelites, your deliverance is for all who ask for it. Therefore dear Lord, I ask for total deliverance of all my listeners from every situation and position that they do not want and that is not your will for them. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let everyone here undergo pain, dehumanization, and those who are being despised and mocked. Those that are being treated with disdain be set free and delivered by the mighty wonder working power of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Father Lord, as they are delivered and set free, take them to their lands of promises, and their places of comfort, rest, honor, peace, and dignity, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you O Lord for we know you have heard us. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us in this prayer, we appreciate it. Kindly give us a thumbs up to like this video. It will help the video to reach more people. Also, our team will appreciate it if you could share this video with your friends on social media. Are you new here? Subscribe, and leave the notification button on so that you will be notified whenever we release a new video. God bless you.